Greetings Campfire Jammers, this is Dustin Cormier and you're watching How to Rock a Campfire. Now, <clears throat> I, uh, I should have put this video uh, into the rest of the introductory guitar lesson videos and um, I don't know, I guess I'm doing it now. So, <clears throat> this video is a quick little run through of bad habits, okay? And uh, this is a, a crucial thing because, you know, any bad habit can really sink you as a guitarist and uh, make you not, you know, I mean, you can have all the talent and all the want in the world, but if you've got certain bad habits, then you just can't get as good as the guys that don't. It's, you know, it's one of those things. Now, um, I guess I'll just go through the basics that I usually teach my students. Uh, number one is posture. Now you'll notice that I'll probably break this rule a lot, but sometimes I got my foot here like this, and sometimes I got my leg down here. Usually what you want is if you're a right-handed guitar player, you've got the bottom slump of the guitar on your leg, and um, what you want to do, now this is what I, uh, believe it or not, this is what I always tell my students, is that you want the butt crack of your arm to be like right, uh, like this part of your arm, right here, butt crack, <laughs> you want it to be snug on the edge of the guitar, okay? If you can see that, it's it's really just like right in there, and that's where you want your arm to be. You don't want it to be hanging on the muscle of your bicep, or you don't want it to be on your forearm either. You want it to be right smack in the middle of, of, your, of your forearm and your uh, bicep. <clears throat> and so when you're playing guitar, you always want your pick to be dragging right along the bottom of the hole, okay? So this is your hole. Um, you want it to be hitting right at the bottom, or mostly around the bottom, of the sound hole for the guitar. Now if you come, uh, a lot of people prefer to even come in a little bit, and that gives you a country twang a little bit. My grandpa plays like this. Uh, and you know, that's cool if you dig it, right? Um, so, uh, if you choose to do that, it gives you that a bit of a tangy sound, and then um, as soon as you come to the other side, it's a little bit more of a, almost like a, not necessarily deeper, but I don't know, you don't generally want to play in the middle of the hole. You always want to be right at the bottom of the sound hole. That is where your pick should be scraping by every time you play any notes on the guitar. Now, in terms of actually holding your pick, um, I guess uh, <laughs> that's really the best way I can explain it. Um, usually, you want, uh, if you can see this, this is your pick, and you want the thumb to be coming along the side of it like that, right? It's not down like that. It's, it's, it's sideways to the pick. You'll notice that that's what my thumb is. And then my other two fingers are just pointing downward down the pick, okay? Thumb is slightly sideways, though not completely sideways. It doesn't have to be completely sideways like that. What you want to do is have it mostly, almost like south southwest is where my thumb is pointing in relation to the pick, okay? And then my fingers are mostly coming down, though there's a little bit of sidewaysness to them as well. And so that is what you can see when I'm playing my guitar, is that my thumb is always pointed towards the strings because that is what makes the pick come out sideways, right? <clears throat> now, in terms of uh, posture, that's, which is a very important thing, I probably should have said that first, uh, your posture is something that you just want to get used to having on the guitar. Because if you're slouched over, then you know, you can probably do some bad things to your back. Uh, basically, you want to be uh, stick your chest out a little bit, even if you can. And um, you know, right at the start, if you have to crane over to look at your fingers, then you know you can do that. But once you've got a groove on the going on the guitar, and once you've got everything going nice and fluid, you generally want to st uh, uh, sit with your back relatively sh straight up, so you don't get any you know back back problems or anything like that. If you play guitar as much as I do, you, you want to have proper posture. It, I, uh, I really suggest, you know, getting into that good habit now so it doesn't turn into a bad habit later. Now there's two more things I think that I'd like to go through with you guys, and they're very important. One thing, uh, this is a great thing that my Uncle Tom, my Uncle Tom taught me to play guitar. And one great thing that he taught me 
uh, while playing is that you'll notice, you can try this right now, go ahead and try it. If you crane your wrist like this and you bend it, try squeezing your, ha your hand with your hand, uh, try squeezing your fingers in your palm with your wrist bent like that. You'll notice that you'll have a lot less power than if your wrist is straight like this, okay? You want your wrist to be straight because then you can really squeeze, you know, then you can really squeeze the guitar in the fingers. So, uh, the point of that is that a lot of beginning guitarists, you'll notice when they're playing, is that they'll be playing like this, okay? And their wrist, instead of being straight like that, which it should be, they'll crane their wrist like this. And that gives you less squeezing power, less, uh, less mobility, less a dexterity and, ag and agility in your fingers. Uh, you don't generally want to do that unless you really have to. Uh, like even for bar chords, I'll usually try to maintain a relatively straight wrist. Some bar chords, it's just inevitable that you're going to bend your wrist a little bit. But try to always remember, if you're starting on the, on the guitar right now, it's very important that you keep your wrist, your left wrist straight. Your fingering hand wrist must be straight, okay? As, as straight as possible, because the straighter it is, the more straight... Oh, excuse me. The more strength you're going to have in your fingering hand, okay? So that's a very important thing. Um, and the last thing I want to tell you guys on the guitar is, uh, with one exception, you never want your fingers to be uh, straightened like this, okay? Now this is my fingering hand, right? Uh, if I'm going to play an A chord, for example, right? You guys will notice that this is, this is the wrong way to play your A chord, okay? And the way that is, is having your fingers uh, not bent at the first bend, the first joint, okay? You want that first joint of your fingers after your fingernails, the first joint must always be sticking out like this. This is what you want, okay? Because that is how you have proper power and that's, that's just proper technique. And it's probably, I think it's also bad for your fingers if you play, like if you're going to play your G, for example, and your fingers, I don't know if you can see that, but they're splayed, they're kind of, uh, they're straight like this. And that's really bad for your fingers. If I'm going to do my G chord, I want that first joint of my finger to be sticking out no matter what. That is a very key important thing for any guitarist to know while they're playing, okay? So... Uh, I guess that is our checklist of things that you want to be watching for as you're playing guitar. You want to have proper posture, you want to have your, your pick hand uh, the, the proper way, which is with your thumb sideways uh, and your fingers going down. Okay, I've usually got two fingers going down like that. You want to have your wrist straight. You want to have your arm in the, uh, the you want to have the guitar in the butt crack of your arm of your of your playing of your strumming arm, and you want to uh, you want to play when you strum. You want to strum right on the bottom of the sound hole. That's where you, that's where you're gonna get the optimal sound on your guitar. Um, as I said, you have to have your wrist straight on your fingering hand, and you never want to have your fingers straightened out. You want the first joint after the fingernail of your fingering hand to always be at a joint, stuck out, bending, as opposed to being straight, okay? And I guess that's our checklist for um, initiatory guitar lesson bad habits, okay? You want all those bad habits to not be there. You want uh, these to be the proper habits and the only way that you're going to do that is by checking them yourself. I would suggest maybe um, looking in the description. I'm going to make a quick little checklist on the description of all these good habits and bad habits and reminding yourself. Constantly remind yourself, okay? Because the more uh, you use the good habits, uh, it's just going to ha it's going to turn into a good habit, you know? And um that is what really what you want on the guitar or on anything in life, obviously. Uh, and so that is what you want to do. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys. Um, th hopefully you guys learned something from this video. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.